Only live with you today, folks. We've heard three young men have went missing down in the depths. Me and my crew are here today. We're going to recover them. Uh, God speed to us all. Let's pray for a speedy recovery for these young men. Um, so, to be honest with you, I'm only doing this because a, a big booty Latina said, <laughs> Help me! Getting shaky. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to be a popular YouTuber, but it's just too much work? This game is right for you. Content Warning was created by Landfall Games and released April 1st, following Landfall's tradition of releasing games on April Fool's Day. They are the same developers behind Totally Accurate Battle Simulator and Battlegrounds. Upon release, the game was free for the first 24 hours, and is currently $8 on Steam, which I think is an odd price. Why not go with $10? I mean, unless... Yep. Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying they are trying to undercut Lethal Company, but if they are, it isn't working. These are the Steam charts for Content Warning and Lethal Company. Even today, Lethal Company has more active players. But wait, this doesn't necessarily mean anything about the future success of Content Warning. When Lethal Company was released, it was huge. Way bigger than Content Warning is right now. Give me him back! Give him back! But after weeks, which turned into months of almost zero content updates from the Lethal Company developer, a massive portion of the player base fell off. This is an unfortunate cycle that's becoming incredibly prevalent in recent titles. Fortunately, the modding community has stepped in to give the community the content that they've been waiting for. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, you're clapping it, man. Holy shit. While I wish there were bigger mods like new creatures and such, that's really not possible for the modders, requiring things like source code or the API. Some games allow modders to access these to make such drastic mods. And what is an API, you might ask? A game API combines different rules and protocols to allow developers to utilize game-ready-made functionalities of games. Essentially, it's like having a guidebook that shows you how to add new elements or change existing ones in game. We can only imagine the potential of the modding community if Content Warning decides to give us access to the Content Warning API. We could see things like custom maps, custom models, tons of community monsters. It could have endless potential. Some people believe Content Warning has peaked and is already dying, which isn't really fair to say since the game has only been out for two weeks. We've seen a content update and a couple bug fixes within the last week, and Landfall does have a good history with actually updating updating the games they make, so we can stay hopeful for amazing future content, and hopefully some new content within the next few weeks. But enough about that, how's the gameplay? You think you're ready to adventure down into the old world? Grab your camera and your complimentary flashlight. You can head over to the shop, but you don't have any money, so you can't buy anything. Your goal is to enter the old world solo, or with a crew of people. Ooh. We can save you. Wait, which key is this? No! My bad. I'll try. I'll oh, Michael, try it. Michael, do it. Michael. No! I'm oh, sorry. And record the creepy monsters lurking in the dark. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. <gasps> what is that? What is. Ah, Michael! And this thing. But he's shot. Oh, what is that thing? Your camera only has a limited amount of film, so you can't record too often. Ah, leave me alone! Leave me alone! I don't want it! I don't want it! I don't want your candy! I don't want your candy! Johnson! 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 Johnson, you're alive! The stairs. I have 2% film. And you only have a limited amount of oxygen, so you can't stay down here for too long. The maps are procedurally generated, so the inside of the buildings are always different. Once you return home, you can upload the video to SpookTube and watch the clips you capture. And next to it, you can see all the comments you're getting. Comments even reveal the name of the monsters in case you don't know what you ran into. You also have money now. The shop is pretty limited, there's not really much you can get. And the only real weapon is the stun gun, which only works once per person you use it on. What is it? Ah! Turn around! No! We're trapped! Run! No, run! No, run! You may also notice you have a quota you have to reach. Kinda similar to another game. Alright, well this says so. So we put all our stuff up there, and then we ding the bell. Unfortunately, unlike Lethal Company, Content Warning has a very underwhelming punishment for missing quota.
You just go to sleep like normal and receive a message. That's about it. I really hope they change this in the future. They really did have so much potential for punishments. I would love to see what they could come up with. But if you do manage to earn enough views to meet quota, well... What it? Ah! Ah! I can't move! Ah! Ah! Let me go! Let me go! <laughs> now let me go! <laughs> hey, there was something here last time. Right here. Right now! <laughs> Whenever you meet quota, every three days, your quota will increase, and the old world map will change significantly. And it's filled with even worse monsters, and they're a lot more frequent than before. Oh, this dumbass. This dumbass, what are you gonna do? Ow! Oh, 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 Leave me alone! No. The maps are even bigger, and they're pretty much a maze. If you're not careful, it's really easy to get lost in here. <gasps> the way out! I can make it. I can survive. No! At first, the quota might seem a little intimidating, but it's really not any different. Now that you've passed the first three days, you're even more popular, so you get more views. You can also change your face upstairs in the main house, and you can type whatever you want. <laughs> Yo, we can't What's both up? be red, bro. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Well, that's really all I have to say for now. Hey, I'm getting touched. I just, I just got to get it.